started with this, okay? Okay, so you're, you're a woman, your hair's falling out, your thyroid's going out at 35. You just got diagnosed with cancer, your sister did. Really hurting women. Uh, all this is going on. You're being murdered. You're being murdered, murdered, murdered. Let me say it again, murdered. Yeah, there's the mosquito solution. Can genetic modification eliminate a deadly tropical disease? Oh, yes, genetic modification. They're going to make you take a shot through the mosquito. Oh, and look, Obama's smiling on the cover. He's your doctor now. Oh, it's trendy. Oh. He's black. It must be okay. Again, just total political correctness. Doesn't matter what color these people are. They're a bunch of globalist killers. And it goes on to say, Bill Gates pays for experiments to genetically modify humans. Bill Gates just gave eight. 0.3 million grant to develop GMO designer humans by simply altering, deleting, or adding certain gut bacteria and fungi. Corporations create designer human consumers in the near future. So they're advertising, they're going to do this to you and then make you have to buy stuff from them. They don't even hide the business model. <laughs> oh, you're dying from Crohn's? Well, finally, Bill Gates has got something for you. And look, he's a smiling little guy. He's a nice man <laughs> wearing a suit. I mean, come on, you know. So what are your kid, you know, has to get their guts chopped out and dies in surgery with Crohn's? I mean, so what? And it just goes on to say that, uh, and fungus, corporations can create designer human customers in the future. And Bill Gates wants to do just that, starting by, quote, spiking. That's the word they use. The milk that a toddler drinks Gates and corporations, he licenses, could potentially make a human short, tall, smart, dumb, submissive, aggressive, autistic. This is what they say, savant, healthy, or constantly in need of pharmaceutical drugs or depend on Windows computer-based assistance for the rest of their life. Not joking, see. They know the gut is causing the brain damage. Their engineering is through it. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Alex Jones. You got it. You see, nerves come out of your brain and grow into your eyes in utero inside your mother. And of course, you have your spinal cord that is connected to your brain and, and nerves that go into your stomach. And so just like you drink and then you get a buzz in your brain or you eat and you get energy in your brain, the system knows they're attacking our brain through the food. The dyes, the preservatives, all of it. And Bill and Melinda Gates make money owning Monsanto. They pretty much control it. On destroying your gut flora. And now they're going to give you the treatment. To where, oh, babies don't have gut flora anymore. We have a treatment, and then your baby gets a new gut flora genetically designed by them. Human milk produced in cows, udders. So you're allowed to survive. That's the business model. Cut your legs off, sell you bionic legs, basically. But of course, they have the back door to it. And that's why now the uh, miniaturization has gotten inexpensive enough now that they can launch drones basically over every neighborhood. And so they're going to do it, and you're going to pay for it. And they're going to make money off of it while they rape your privacy. And if you don't like that, a SWAT team will drop by. And they're going to continue to raise the taxes till you lose your property. And they're going to take it. And so the world turns. And they know exactly what they're doing. But don't worry, a big sis was asked by the Hill newspaper about what she thought about the bad weather. Asked point blank if the wildfires were caused by climate change, Napolitano responded, it could be a lot of different things. But then she explained and expanded her view which seemed to make a connection between climate change and the weather events. 
You have to look at climate change over a period of years, not just one summer, Napolitano said. You could always have one abnormal summer, but when you see one after another after another, then you can see and say, yeah, there's a pattern here. Funny, uh, all this climate change that they say is going on, well, number one, climate change is the only thing that is constant, is change. That's number one. But number two, if there's giant ongoing weather modification going on all over the world, and the Pentagon has documents like owning the weather 2025, and they admit they're doing all these tests, why shouldn't that be looked at? Why shouldn't that be discussed? Because if governments love to exacerbate crises and then pose and offer the solution, and have been caught doing it time and time again, shouldn't they be the prime suspects here? That's the question. Now, this is a short segment. We're going to go to break and come back and go to David, Jim, Michael, uh, Jake, actually, uh, first, because he's been holding the longest, and then uh, Donald. We're going to get to all of you after this break, and uh, then I will get to all the news I have not yet covered, and there is quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of it on the economy and what's happening in the Middle East. Uh, we're also going to be looking at some of the latest things that old old Mitt Romney is uh, up to. Uh, I did get the latest issue of uh, Military Press that's published in Southern California and is at Camp Pendleton. There's the cover of it if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. Got some great Made in America hardware there on the cover of it. Uh, and uh, indeed, I did find the articles that... Uh, that the caller was talking about, where they talk about the uh, commander-in-chief being involved in unconstitutional activity. They're talking about how do you legalize illegal aliens when the president can't act unilaterally. That's the publisher. Uh, they've got articles in here about uh, the United Nations... And, you know, the takeover. So, yeah, the fact that you haven't heard a controversy about this being on the base shows that they're starting to understand what's happening. Because, listen, the criminals, the enemy, the globalists, they took over the country a long time ago. And if we want to be conquered, that's fine. It's just those conquering us are the very most horrible people you can imagine. We're run through some of your phone calls, and then I'm going to rush through some very important news. Uh, the big drug companies, the same ones who've all been caught selling drugs they know don't treat what they say and that they kill you, or giving you vaccines that actually give you what they say it's fighting knowingly to spread it to then scare others to take the shots. They now are pushing to put kids on Oxycontin, the stuff that made Rush Limbaugh go deaf, and they're trying to... Uh, at the same time, make children take their deadly vaccines. We're going to be breaking all of that down here in just a moment. Uh, but right now, let's go to David in Canada, and then we'll go to Jake and others. You're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Pretty good, my friend. Um, I got a few comments. Uh, I recently lived in Pennsylvania, Lebanon County. And during the Obama elections, I had decided to leave because I did not want to be ruled by a communist. Uh, one of the things I did, I had moved to Canada. And with this new health care passing, I have a message for all Americans. Don't bother leaving. Don't, don't bother leaving America now. Because the IRS has it, if you owe any debt, you can't leave. If you come to a doctor up here, they're going to tell you to Google it. You don't even get an appointment. You, you do not get a doctor's appointment. The doctor tells you to Google it. Oh, I've seen this new spam on our YouTube channel and at Infowars.com where they say, in a, you know, in a socialist system, there's 100% un, uh, unemployment. I'm having a Freudian slip. There is 100% employment, and everything is wonderful. And they actually believe this. They are like, oh, the Soviet Union, communist China, 
They have no idea because they're taught in public school and in college that socialism and communism is a good thing. It's amazing. They're just helpless little morons. I had married a Canadian girl, and she waited 18 months, 18 months, just for a test for carpal tunnel. <laughs> uh, another thing, I, I, I want to make a comment to all your listeners. Like I said, I'm American-born. I lived in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, right by Hershey, Pennsylvania, where they make the candy. Ah, they make it in Mexico now, pal. And I'll tell you what, Alex, I am appalled at, uh, how do you, uh, I don't know how to say it, but I cannot understand why. I know why you're American distracted. I know why you're distracted. Somebody just turned the radio on. ...on earth, why the citizens of the United States are not standing up and saying no. I, I don't get it. Well, I hear you, because if somebody's wearing a uniform... I'm convinced if somebody in a uniform told the average American, stick your baby in a garbage disposal, they would salute and say, yes, sir, and do it. I mean, they, America is the opposite of how it was founded now. The average person is a posing, mindless jellyfish. Now, that's not everybody, but they're about 50%. And of the other 50%, it runs the uh, gamut. And I'm not trying to be negative here. It's just very scary what people have turned into. But let me mention one news article before I go back to your calls. Here it is right here. The caller uh, called in in the last hour about this. It's uh, Military Press, big free periodical publication in Southern California. This is on the base at Camp Pendleton. It's targeting uh, veterans and current active duty. And I have had a chance to read over this now. And it sounds like Alex Jones wrote half the articles. All hail Emperor Obama. And then it goes over the fact that he says the UN runs our military and that world government is good and that he can shut down our power plants if he feels like it and that he can do whatever he wants. There you go. And the whole magazine is like that. Well, it does have the uh, retro pinup girls from uh, World War II with modern, modern little gods creations there. I... Uh, but I actually read, uh, I, I, that's why we miss the music. That's, uh, that's why I, but I read Military Press for the articles. <laughs> okay, that's enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, continuing here with the news. Look, it is time to stop complying with it all. When you go to the airport and some TSA person wants to grope you, dress them down, say, good, call the cops, get there an hour and a half early, make a whole ordeal out of it, stand up to them. And when, and when people hiss at you and say they're just doing their job, what, doing their job to destroy the country? Doing their job? They're on the highways now, you idiot. And again, it's not just the TSA, it's all of it. Stop acting like they're heroes and we're in a war zone and you got to do it because Al-Qaeda is hiding under the table. This is all being done because we've been taken over by foreign mega banks. And I'm going back to the calls, but guys, go to that clip since you found it. This is from four years ago during the campaign. And the reason I raise this is the Secret Service is now being dispatched to people that criticize Obama. A case out of Florida, they had a float in the community parade, calling Obama an abomination. Locals called the Secret Service on him, and the media acts like maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you shouldn't talk bad about Obama. So here is a clip from the news, and this happened nationwide, and it's happening again. This is the authoritarianism we're dealing with in this country. So use the First Amendment or lose it. People ask why I'm saying get our flyers calling Obama a dictator and post him everywhere because he's trying to become one. And if he doesn't get in trouble for this, it will set the precedent for the next puppet president. Here is that clip. Senator Barack Obama's presidential campaign is asking Missouri law enforcement to target anyone who lies or runs a misleading